Torx head screws can be seen wherever we look these days. Mechanics will find them on our door jam strikers, our tail light assemblies, and even holding in our seats. Now, as machinists, we see them holding in our cutting inserts. But sometimes our wrench will feel loose, just really sloppy in the screw, uh, no matter what key we grab. And there's a reason for this. It's because they're not always torque screws. If you run a lathe or a mill, or if you're just an interested mechanic or engineer, we've got some useful information for you in this Haas Tip of the Day. So why is it that sometimes our Torx key feels so loose? Well, often it's because the screw that we're trying to remove isn't a Torx screw at all. When a screwdriver pops out of the head of a screw, we call this camming out. Now to solve this cam out problem, they developed the Torx head screw in the late 60s. This was Camcar Products, which is Acumet Global Technologies. Now, these screws gave us a higher torque transmission and virtually eliminated the wear from both the screw and the bit. Now, eventually the patent expired for the torque screw and the company went on to develop a, a newer version that was even more secure and they called it the Torx Plus. On the left, we have our original Torx head, generically just called a, a six lobe or a star bit. And on the right, we have our Torx Plus. Now there are a lot of really good high quality tools out there that make use of both of these screw types. And here is why all of this is important to us as machinists, mechanics, and engineers. A Torx key will work in both a Torx screw and in a Torx plus screw. It'll fit, but a little bit sloppy, a little loose and it won't give us the extra grip that the Torx Plus was designed to give us. But we cannot use a Torx Plus key in a Torx screw. It simply won't fit. Now the Torx bits that we can pick up from our local hardware store can be used on our insert screws. But half of the time, what we really need is a Torx Plus key. Now here is how these wrenches are labeled. Our Torx keys will be labeled like T7, TX8, T9, T15, and so on. T is for Torx. While our Torx Plus keys will be labeled like T06P, 7IP, 9IP, 15IP, T15P. The P is for plus. Now IP is for internal plus Torx plus, while an EP would be for an external Torx plus fastener. Now again, all of these wrenches here are for Torx screws, T, TX, while all of these wrenches, all these keys are for Torx plus screws, and they've got a P in the name or an IP for plus. There are no hard rules on what type of screw will be used with any particular tool. This varies by type of tool and by brand, and sometimes just by the size of the screw being used. So it's best to be sure and keep both of these styles of keys in your toolbox for the best fit. No matter which of these inserts that we use, we'll wanna make use of a lubricant, both on the threads of the screw and underneath the head of the screw where it makes contact with our insert. A lubricant will reduce friction, reducing the amount of torque that we need to properly tighten our screws. This means that we don't have to crank on those screws as hard to get the same amount of holding power, the same amount of preload if we use a lubricant. These keys will come in different styles like screwdrivers, T-handles, L-keys, and flag keys. Now these flag keys are shipped with a lot of tiny, tiny screws because they don't want us over tightening things. For repeated use, nothing beats a Torx or a Torx Plus screw. Now, if you're using a cordless drill to tighten up your parts in a fixture plate, you might wanna look at replacing your socket head cap screws with their Allen heads and moving over to a Torx head cap screw. Uh, your bits are gonna last forever, your screws are gonna last quite a while because Torx head screws were designed for that kind of repeated assembly work. Well, that is it. 
Thanks for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.